Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful summer day here in Minnesota. A little bit breezy out here today, but we're gonna see if we can find a few big bass willing to hit the hollow body frog. I've actually been out here a few hours already. Well, more like four or five. I got out here at sunrise this morning. Fished my way around some deeper water with more of an open water topwater lure. Didn't really have much action on that today. Then the wind picked up on me, so. We'll stick a little bit closer to the shoreline and see if we can pick up a few on that frog. I went back and checked out this bay. Not much happening back there. A bunch of little baby bass and some bluegill along with them. But we'll fish that frog through some of these lily pads out here on the main part of the lake, a little bit closer to some deeper water. There's a couple other little bays too I'll probably duck back into and try. Yeah, we'll see if we can catch a few out here today before the wind picks up even more and blows me off the lake. So I've got myself rigged up with a Northland reed runner frog here. Thrown those frogs on three or four trips now and I gotta say I'm really happy with them. I got a little bit different color here today, more like a kind of a perch pattern one. Figured I'd switch it up a little bit, at least with the color pattern. But so far so good with those Northland frogs. We've caught some nice fish on them. They fish really well. Good hookup ratio. And really the only modification I have to do to them is I trim the legs down maybe three quarters of an inch. But aside from that, they're good to go straight from the store. Now I just gotta find a few fish looking to eat frog for lunch. We'll check it out back here, see if there's any big bass. If not, well, it might be time to call it a day because I haven't been finding much and this wind is kind of whipping around now. It's not as enjoyable to be out here battling the wind. <laughs> Unless the big fish are biting, of course. And I tell you what, this wind is not making it easy today. There's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a big bass. Come back here, you get in my net. There we go. Man, I've been catching little dinks out here all morning. That's more like the fish I'm looking for. Get my frog back from you. Toss him on the measuring stick. We'll get a quick length on that guy. It's about 18 and 5 eighths. Nice chunky frog bass. I wasn't sure if I was going to find much in here after not finding much in that other little bay other than a bunch of little dinks. But we've got about a half dozen more spots just like that one back here in this bay. We'll see if any others are holding a big bass like that. This 
This looks fishy. Got one. I didn't even see him hit it. Yeah, he let go. Didn't really get a good hook set on that one. Can't squeeze very well with my right hand because I slammed my thumb in my car door this morning. Somehow. I guess I was just too excited to get my gear loaded into my kayak and get out here. There's a little one hanging out in there. He shook my frog. That's all right. No heartbreak losing the little ones. There's something over there. I saw the wake come out toward my frog. Is he going to eat it? There, oh, dang, that was a big fish, you guys. I don't know what happened there. I think I had my frog hung up around the branch and <laughs> tried to lift that fish up around it. Dang, that was probably another 18 incher though. That's a good sign. Those spots seem to be holding fish once they get out a little bit closer to the main part of the lake. I know there's a few of those spots out here on the main lake too. So we might find a couple more big bass hiding out in those spots. Man, I wish I could have got that one in. That was kind of weird. I must have threw my frog over that branch up there. <laughs> Didn't even realize until I was trying to lift the fish up over it. We'll keep fishing our way along. See if we can find another big one like that, willing to bite. Is there one back there? I didn't get that frog back there quite as far as I would have liked. I right, we'll try again. There we go, that's the spot, if there's one back there. I don't I think there was. Oh, right there, that looks kind of fishy, right by that log. A big bass gonna jump over from underneath there. Come on, please, 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 please. Ooh, we found one. <laughs> A little guy, self release. That's uh, okay, those little ones can do that all they want. Those big ones better stay on the hook though. This looks like a spot we might find a big bass hanging out at. Oh yeah, we got him. Give me my net. Come here, you. Nice. Well, the last two big ones I found, they shook that frog, but we got that one in. Man, look at that. It's a nice, thick, healthy looking fish.
I'll get a length on that one. About 18 and a quarter. Nice. Man, what a pretty fish. Called it. That seems to be the type of spots. Get off my kayak spider. That seems to be the type of spots that are holding fish today. I don't know if those are just game trails or what. I know there's a bunch of beaver out here. I saw a few deer wandering in one of those spots this morning. Got him. He didn't hit it real hard. This feels like a decent fish though. Oh yeah, not a bad fish at all. I will take me one of those. Nice chunky little fella. <laughs> and there we go. Nice, we're finding a few on that frog out here today. And look how chunky that fish is. Probably got a couple bluegill in his belly. Well, I made it back here to the launch where I started from. I was thinking about calling it quits. My stomach is rumbling. My thumb hurts just real in my reel. <laughs> but I also really kind of want to catch one more big fish. I think I'll fish my way up around the point here. We'll see if we can hook into one more. Since it's kind of nice and calm along the shoreline now, finally out of the wind, I think. Ooh, this looks fishy right here. Hmm. Nothing up there, huh? Looks a lot like the other spots I've been finding them in. A little gap in the lily pads up by the shore. Seems to be it's holding those fish today. Oh, you think there'll be one hanging out up here? Let's find out. Oh yeah. He's a big one too. He'll get up here. There we go. That's what I was hoping for to finish the day off with. Look at that. Absolutely hammered that frog. We'll get a length on this one. This might be the biggest fish of the day. Just a hair shy of 19 inches. beauty of a fish. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's trip. I'd stick around for the evening bite, but this wind is only supposed to pick up as we get into evening time. And well, I think I've had enough for one day. Fun day of fishing out here though. We've got a few really nice bass on that Northland Reed Runner frog. Had a couple others shake it. I wish I could have gotten the net, but oh well, it happens. Can't catch them all, I guess. Still a pretty good day out here though. Any day on the water is a good day if you ask me. So I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.